Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2019 action film Beyond the Law. A film that is directed by James Cullen Brassac and it stars Steven Seagal, Johnny Mesner, DMX um, and Bill Cobbs as well as Zach Ward. Now this is another of those Steven Seagal action films. Now. A few months ago I decided to try and go on a bit of a catch up with Steven Seagal films. I did, I, earlier this year I did a top 10 list of my favourite Seagal films and I started reviewing some of his old classics and then I thought I would start collecting a lot of his films that I haven't seen before and reviewing them. Um, however, I watched one, reviewed one, it was terrible and it kind of put me off watching some others for a while but I thought I would delve in and, and, and give this one a go because it's his new one and this film actually Steven Seagal isn't the main star or the main character in this film. Um, the main character in this film is played by Johnny Mesner called Frank Wilson, who is um, a retired police detective who, and he was a bit of a crooked cop. Not that he took bribes and stuff, he kind of messed with evidence and, you know, um, did a few dodgy stuff here and there to make sure he got the bad guy. Um, and he's on the hunt uh, of some criminals who killed his son. His son got in with the wrong crowd um, and he ended up getting killed by them. Now the person that killed his son is actually um, called Desmond who is the son of a gangland crime lord Augustino Finn Adair played by Steven Seagal. Um, so essentially it's a father seeking vengeance on this gang of criminals um, that killed his son um, and that's it really that's all you need to know it's an old-fashioned story uh, right so what did I think of beyond the law uh, it's not great to be sure it's, it's it's exactly what you would expect you know, when I when I've just explained that movie to you, if you put like a little roadmap in your head as to what you think this movie is going to be like, you've pretty much nailed it. Corrupt cops, um, a gritty, grizzled ex-cop taking out these bad guys one at a time to try and get to the ones that killed his son. Um, there's there's a couple of odd things in this film. Um, now DMX is in this film. Now DMX was previously in a Steven Seagal film um, and I forget which one now um, it might come back to me later they saw the, but they barely are, oh I don't even think they are on screen together at all DMX plays um, a cop um, a crooked, crooked cop there's a lot of crooked cops in this film um, and Steven Seagal is barely in this film probably more than 15 minutes 20 minutes tops no, no I'd say 15 minutes tops um, he's like he plays this gangland boss that gives out advice to his son, asks his son questions, you know, belittles his son, all this kind of stuff, and then he gets five minutes at the end to do his Steven Seagal stuff, which will hugely annoy many people watching the film because it certainly did me, and I'm not going to spoil it, but the ending of this film really frustrated me. It was almost like Steven Seagal looked at it and says, oh, "No, no, I don't like that ending." no 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 this is what we're doing and that's what they did and it was bizarre uh, a bizarre ending to say the least um, I, I won't go as far as to say this is a bad film and maybe that's probably maybe that's because uh, no it is a bad film I'll rephrase that it's not a terrible film maybe that's because Steven Seagal isn't the main star um, it is Johnny Mesner who actually does a fairly decent job of this really tortured father trying to you know take out um, these criminals that killed his son and he's suffering with these terrible nightmares of his son and how he let him down and all this kind of stuff so they tap into that side of it reasonably well and he does a pretty good job because if it was Seagal playing the father he certainly couldn't have done any of what this of what Johnny Mesner did in regards to his performance and I'm not saying Johnny Mesner is any Al Pacino either um, but unfortunately as much as I like Steven Seagal certainly his earlier films he has the emotional range of a garden slug let's be honest um, and DMX's character is is 
pointless. You know, anybody could have played that role. It don't, didn't really make sense what he was there for and what he was doing, um, other than being this crooked cop that was on the phone quite a lot to people. Um, the action was passable, if a little bit choreographed at times. Um, there's a shootout um, at one point in the film. It just felt very, very slowly filmed and very, very staged and choreographed. It was a bit odd. But other than that, I mean, it's watchable at best, this film. I'm going to give it a four and a half out of ten. Um, if you're a huge Steven Seagal fan, you'll probably be disappointed because he's not really in it, even though his face is all over the, the sleeve. Um, it's a Johnny Mesner film, really. So that's my review for Beyond the Law. I hope you found the review useful, and of course, I'll see you back for more reviews on Screen Stars.